Here is our demo for Pantheon RL, a multi-agent reinforcement learning software package. Multi-agent reinforcement learning has applications in everyday tasks, sports, driving, and more. In many of these domains, the other agents we interact with are often changing all the time. We have to adapt to new partners, and new partners have to adapt to us. However, many existing multi-agent reinforcement learning libraries are designed to train a fixed set of agents with each other. Instead, Pantheon RL is designed to support dynamic training interactions. Dynamic training interactions refer to standard MARL training, as well as round robin, crossplay, and many more like few shot adaptation. The goal of Pantheon RL is to provide support for easy configuration across all of these training paradigms, which we will demo in the rest of the video. The key features of Pantheon RL are that it has flexible and modular agent objects for easy configuration of the different training paradigms. It's built on top of Stable Baselines 3, so it inherits many of the powerful training algorithms and utilities. Finally, it has an intuitive web user interface that allows us to launch multiple jobs in the background. The user interface provides clean visualization and monitoring tools to make Pantheon RL easy to use. For this demonstration, we will be using two example environments. So the first environment is a two-player simultaneous environment called Overcooked, where both players have full observability. Um, the second game is a two-player turn-based environment called Block World, in which one of the players has partial observability and it is not a symmetric game. We have a command line program to train ego and partner agents in the existing multi-agent environments. Here is its help page. The first argument is the environment to train in. The following arguments specify the algorithms for the eco agent and each partner agent. For multiple partners playing in a round robin style, list each partner's algorithm separately. There are also some optional arguments to configure the training procedure, like the number of time steps, the PyTorch device to use, a seed for randomness, and the creation of a tensor board to visualize the ego's training over time. We can also configure the arguments for initializing the environment and each agent. Finally, we can specify the path to save trained agents into. For our first demo, we are training a PPO eco agent with a PPO partner in the overcooked simple environment. When the training is finished, the trained eco model will be saved to eco1.zip and the partner will be saved to alt1.zip. Now that the agents have trained for the default half a million time steps, we can confirm that the models have been saved to their respective files. We can also run a testing function, which prints the average reward and standard deviation after running the two models for 100 episodes. For our second demo, we are training the same configuration, but with the random seed set to 10. When the training is finished, the trained ego model will be saved to ego2.zip, and the partner will be saved to alt2.zip. We see that the training rewards converge to a different value, which can also be verified by running testchart.py. Because of the modular nature of our library, we can also swap the partners to see if they're compatible with one another. First, we will simulate the first ego agent working with the second partner. We see lower rewards when compared to the original pairings, indicating that these two policies arrived at different conventions when training. We can also simulate the second ego working with the first partner. We again see low rewards, further supporting the idea that these agents have converged to different conventions. After we've trained our agents, we should try to visualize their behavior. For the environment of Overcooked, there's a web simulation tool, which we've modified slightly to work better with Pantheon RL. First, let's try to watch the two agents we just trained play with each other. We simply specify the location of the ego agent and the location of the partner agent. And this spawns a website, which we can now go to, to watch the two agents play with each other. The agents are moving rather quickly since their AI agents trained with each other. And after 10 seconds, they've scored 20 points. 
With this web tool, we can even play with the AI agent ourselves by not specifying the location of the partner agent. And this time, we'll even save the trajectory to a file. Going back to the website, we specify human input, and now we're playing as the green agent in the corner. We can do a little dance, pick up an onion, put it down, and do another little dance. And we've scored 20 points with the AI agent. Now, since we've saved the trajectory in the file, we can rerun the app again to watch our game as a replay by specifying the trajectory file. Going back, we can watch the replay of the game we just played. Remember, we were the green agent doing a little dance, and we grabbed an onion and put it down, and we finished with 20 points. So the trajectory and the model files work directly with the Pantheon RL formats, making this visualization tool very easy to use. We can also train pairs of agents using button clicks through the web interface. So for example, I can log into the web interface and I can select one of the five example environments. So for this example, I'm going to select the block world environment and I don't want to record the trajectories for this. Um, the ego agent, I can decide between these options for the type of agent. I will select a PPO agent and let's say I want to train it for 50,000 time steps. Then I'll make the partner agent also a PPO agent, but I will save it as my PPO. And this will save the final trained policy once we are done training the ego and partner agent with each other. Then I can begin training. I click start training and then check for updates. You can see that the training is now in progress. And if I go to another tab where I have, for example, another person logged in, I can check for updates here and see that I get these updates for the other person. So this way we can simultaneously train environments and also log out and log back in to check our training in progress. And if we wait a bit and check for updates, we can see that this table updates itself and it lets you know when we are done training. So now that we are done training, we can go back and train a new environment. Um, and again, make the ego agent a PPO agent, and maybe this time train it for 100,000 timed steps. But then for the partner agent, we can use a fixed agent and use the PPO agent we had last time. And we can also do round robin training, which means training against multiple partner agents. So we can add another default partner agent. And for the block world, there's no parameters to set for the default partner agent. So we can just save that and begin training. Once it has been a while, we can check for updates and we get again our table of updates. So for example, the median length of an, or sorry, the mean length of an episode, the mean reward that the players are getting, and this is in the block world, the maximum record, reward is one, the minimum is zero. Um, and for example, the training loss here. We can also create a tensor board. If created a tensor board, we get this button to go to a tensor board. So we can click that button and we can see, for example, all our values in nice graphs. So for example, the reward we can see is increasing, the episode length is decreasing, and so on. 